Celtic at Ibrox on Sunday. Does the winner lift the title at the end of the season? Is this the most uh, pivotal head-to-head fixture in football? Um, Martin, you know what it's like to be in Glasgow and take charge of, of Celtic. How how big is this game at the weekend? Oh, really big, obviously. A point separating them at the moment. And um, our Rangers have a game in hand as well too. So really big. This is at Ibrox and... Um, yeah, pivotal gear. Um, I mean, if Rangers win, then they could actually afford to lose the next one against Celtic and win all the other games. So it's yeah. absolutely monumental for yeah. Rangers in terms of giving them the, the stranglehold of, you know, mm-hmm. the, the control. Yeah. How much pressure is on Brendan Rodgers, bearing in mind at the beginning of the season, it looked like that they were going to have an unfettered run to yet another title, but Philippe Clement has come in and he's completely changed the, the, the feeling around Rangers. Yeah, well, Clement has done very, very well. There's no question about that. Their Celtic have been dominant for years and years now, So, uh, and um, uh, Rangers needed to change. I also think, on a more general point, Sam, that for Celtic to stay strong, they need a strong Rangers side beside them and vice versa. Mm. The two sides need to be very strong as it was in uh, in my time in management uh, uh, of Celtic. Rangers were very, very strong. So from that viewpoint, it's no bad thing for the game uh, up north. But from Celtic's viewpoint, yes, you know, the Rangers have been breathing down their necks um, all season, stayed with it as well too when you thought they might have dropped off. And uh, so these, these the, the two games, because there's so few matches left, the two games against each other become massive. They do. What is the build-up to an old firm game like? You're in the... It's, it's, it's Wednesday today. What, what, if you're the manager of Celtic at this moment in time, you've got a game on Sunday against Rangers, what's it feeling like? It's all you think about. It's all you think about from the, from the previous game. Let's say you played the previous Saturday and the games the following the following Sunday, so eight days. That's all you think about from the Saturday evening on. You're getting up, and as a manager, I'm talking about. So you try and uh, you try and um, have just a normal training during the course of the week. But the players realise how big the game is, and it becomes big because the the um, the back pages and there's about six or seven devoted to Celtic and Rangers every single day. Doesn't not just back pages. Then you go into middle pages. Then you go to third and fourth pages. So it's there. It's right in your face the whole way through. Then the build up, the interviews that you have to do, they're countless. And uh, and uh, really, the, the game itself becomes uh, becomes something. Of, you're almost a relief to get onto the field. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it's. Did did you enjoy being in that maelstrom? When you win, you enjoy it. Obviously, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah. That's. And I think that um, uh, Walter Smith, I, I, I never managed against Walter, but I, I, I became a friend of Walter some years later. And we were talking about the games. And Walter, I thought, described it brilliantly. He said at the end of the match, he felt more relief than anything else. that It was all over. So the build-up during the course of the week had taken mm-hmm. its, uh, its toll on you. And it does do. the game, Where it has just been slightly diminished in the sense it's a brilliant, brilliant fixture, one of the greats in the world, no question about it. But the fans are not being allowed. The away yeah. fans have not been allowed. I think they're going to change that for next season, yes, which is this, great. This next two games, that isn't the case. They, That's the, so the fans, sad. The yeah. fans in attendance at uh, Ibrox will only be Rangers fans. But yeah. next season, yeah. the truce was reached between the two clubs. Allocations will return for so away. But what the clubs aren't understanding with that, and it, 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 the fans obviously suffer, but the players suffer. Absolutely. Because, you, you, you know, like when you played, you, surely you, I enjoyed the two in and front. You know, the... You, you did. And Danny, honestly, going to Ibrox is intimidating enough, but you do feel some sort of solace and you feel as if there's some sort of comfort when you look yeah. into there and you see 7,000 yeah. of your own fans behind the yeah. goal. You feel you're not alone here today. Yeah. You know? yeah. Can so I ask you when you manage as well? I mean, I, I when, when we used to have... We, the two derbies we had at Liverpool was Everton and Man United and the United one looked after itself a little mm-hmm. bit more because we were trying to get to them. They were there, but Gerard Hulé used to talk to... Obviously, we'd have a tactical plan and he'd pick mm-hmm. the team, etc. But his biggest message in the week or the few days leading up to those games was a about the discipline you know like controlling mm-hmm. the emotion yeah and the amount of times we played Everton and we ended up winning the game because they lost a man yeah did you did you have to focus that message to the players at all or were they pretty good at self-management um no uh, no you did have to emphasize that uh, yeah uh, and I was obviously so good at it that we had a uh, umpteen players sent off <laughs> <during those personal matches. laughs> yeah Chris Sutton gets sent off Alan Thompson gets sent oh. off uh, yeah 
although sometimes I felt in my paranoia, I felt the referee was just looking for an excuse yeah. to send them off. But it was paranoia. And uh, in my <laughs> but uh, so you were yeah, you were yeah, aware so of I it. was totally aware of it. They just didn't listen, you know. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, and a serious note. Absolutely, it can still happen. Players can get sent off in the game, but the discipline became so important. And you're absolutely right. And you have a better chance of winning the game mm. if you're eleven v ten rather than ten v eleven. Who wins Sunday? Uh, it's a really difficult one to call. Obviously, you're asking me what one. Who I would want to win, so don't even ask me. Okay, and who wins the title? I'm going to. I'm going to stick with us. I okay. think whoever wins that game on Sunday, yeah. you might be right. Then. Uh, Rangers at home against Celtic Ibrox Sunday. Part of the Sunday session. We'll keep you in touch with that. We're coming live from Old Trafford on Sunday. Manchester United against Liverpool. We got commentary of Spurs against Nottingham Forest on Sunday as well. It's a full throttle weekend. In fact, it's a full throttle week of Premier League action here on the Talksport Network. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.